crush is ro um, rocking you have an adjustment here here so you spin this round and you can adjust the height so you get your crush crush nice and level Hi. Um, so this is your crash that's arrived um, what we're going to do is just go through the procedures, setting it up ready for you to trim. This is your back bar. This is the lever. This lever lifts this up and down. Up. Down. This needs to be in as far as possible when you're trimming the cow. The tighter the better. So this lever here with the small one is your gate. Push it forward, the gate opens, you pull it back, and the gate is ready for the next cow. When the cow walks in, it will shut automatically. You have two gates, <coughs> one for this side and one for that side, and they just fit straight onto here, like so. This is your tool tray, it will come like this. What you have to do is to lift it up and it has to go in this hole up in here so it can swing round. So we just pull, pull the cable down. This is your tool tray. And once you've got it into place, you're gonna have to cable tie this one this cable here <coughs> about the way. This is your light, but a light can kind of spray and you can put some tools and your knives up on the top of here if you wish as well. This will swing right the way round so you've got light when you're trimming. So this is your belly band lever. So this is your belly band down. This is your belly band up. When you put your belly band up, have it as high as possible, even if the cows are on tippy toe. Do not have it low. If you have it low, you will do a radial nerve. So you want it nice and high when it's up. And also, if you look here, this is the rotation that needs to go up. If you press the button and it goes the opposite rotation, it will cut on this part here. So you want the rope to go in this rotation. So this is the button for the back leg. This is the button for the belly band. So you can work everything from the back of the crush. When you're doing a front leg, obviously hit the back foot up. 
put this round the bottom of the dew claw and lift the leg up. When you're bringing your cow, ideally, you can set this up in a corner so you have a wall along the back here. And then you can bring your cow up and she will down here and push her around and then she'll jump and go back to where she's come from in the crush. If she starts to play up and she wants to come back, you can quite easily link the two gates together just by sliding them in together like that and then that will stop her and she should go forward. Yep. Um, when you're trimming the front foot on these crushes, so you bring the cow in, bring this as close as possible, pick up a back leg. So if you're doing this foot, pick up the back foot and then she won't kick you and she'll stand square in the crush. So always remember when you're doing a front foot, lift the back foot up as well. When you're putting your, when you're putting the strap on the cow's leg, if you have it like this with the big end on, you can put it round, clip it on. Some guys do it like this and they just hook it on like so and it comes up there. Or if you want, you've got a small end and a big end and you can thread it over the cow and lift it up. This goes above, above the knee joint, above the knee joint. 